for Hollywood. Show me the money! Oh, hello there. Hi, I'm Stan the Movie Man, and this is my review of Tomb Raider. It stars Elisa Vikander, also Dominic West, Walton Goggins, Daniel Wu, and more. It is the story of how our favorite video heroine, video game heroine, Lara Croft, gets started. Uh, in the world of figuring out puzzles and raiding tombs. Um, Laura, as we meet her, is a young woman who is struggling through life to some degree. Um, she is a food delivery bike messenger and uh, is falling behind on her bills. That is when Anna Miller, played by Kristen Scott Thomas, uh, approaches her and asks her to please come and sign the papers. The papers are those that will declare her father, Lord Richard Croft, played by Dominic West, legally dead, and then she can take over uh, the vast corporation that her father owned and ran. Um, she doesn't want to do that because she feels like, even though it's been seven years since her father disappeared, that he's out there somewhere. Uh, as she's about to sign the papers, a, um, uh, a, an assistant gives Laura a box. Uh, it's a puzzle box and she plays with it. She remembers there were plenty of them around her father's house and she's able to solve it and a compartment opens up with a picture of uh, Laura and her father when she was a young girl and uh, a message and from that message Laura figures out it is a puzzle a riddle and she figures out the riddle she never does sign the papers uh, and this sends her on an adventure she goes to Hong Kong um, because she wants to uh, hire a boat to take her to an island where she thinks her father was headed on his last trip and uh, Lou Wren is the captain of this particular boat, played by Daniel Wu. Uh, his father took uh, uh, Mr. Croft on this trip, uh, so, and they're both, they've both been missing for seven years. Uh, if you've watched the trailer, you've seen the storm that destroys the boat, and they wind up on this island with this bunch of people. She meets uh, Matthias Vogel, played by Walton Goggins. He is on a mission to find something. Turns out, uh, both uh, uh, Laura's father and he are on the same quest. Um, the movie's not bad. It moves at a pretty brisk pace. Um, things get started. We spend maybe a little too much time on Laura pre-tomb raiding, but, uh, you know, that stuff's kind of interesting. She's trying to struggle through, and we see the flashes of the future Lara Croft. Um, and I think Alicia Vikander is a perfectly gr good uh, uh, Lara Croft. There was some uh, whining on the internet from some fanboys that, and this isn't me, this is them, that... Her boobs weren't big enough. Okay, you're not 12 years old anymore. Get over it. Um, and like you guys would have had a chance anyway. Um, and you know, uh, I think it's perfect. It's a perfectly fine movie. I just, I just wasn't real crazy about the quest they were on. Uh, that seemed a bit ridiculous. Uh, of course, it's based on a video game, so that's pretty ridiculous most of the time. And uh, I think Walton Goggins was wasted in this particular role as this uh, stone-cold killer kind of guy who never really gets the... he ne Goggins never really gets the chance to shine and do what we know he can do. There's lots of uh, stunts, and uh, there are puzzles she figures out, um, and so as far as that goes, it connects it to the video games. But it's, it, it's just lacking a spark somewhere. It's just not quite there. 
um, uh, and we we get an idea of where any future films may go uh, as uh, a global conspiracy uh, is is unearthed uh, as part of this this mission that they're all on. Again, it it's perfectly fine for an adventure film. Uh, it it isn't special. Uh, and while this may be one of the better video game movies, it's not a great video game movie. It's perfectly fine. Not the worst way you could spend, you know, a couple hours in a movie theater, uh, but there are better ways. That's why I am giving Tomb Raider three stars. Go to StandTheMovieMan.com to read my complete review. Please listen to The Fractured Frame, a podcast where... Uh, I get with a couple of friends, and we discuss the latest in movie streaming and TV news. You can get it on all of the usual uh, podcast platforms. Please like, rate, subscribe, and review. We would appreciate it. You can follow me on Twitter, at MovieManStan, and you can send your emails to me, StanTheMovieMan123 at gmail.com. Till next time, later.